Well howdy y'all, it's Raylo again. I'm here this morning with another Final Fantasy XIV fishing video. This one is going to be for the level 35 job quest of Fish Out of Water. So for this one we are going to be doing one of my favorite things. And we're not going to be fishing in water. We're going to be going out to the desert and fishing in the sand. So first thing you'll want to talk to Sissy Poo as always. She's going to send you out to the desert but before we go we got to get our bait, so let's head on over to our favorite NPC for that. Alrighty, so over in Hawker's Alley, you're going to get over to Sign Heil. He's a fieldcraft supplier. Now we got three baits we can use for this. You can use the versatile lure as always. Like I always say, though, it's going to pretty much make it so every fish in the hole will be compatible with your bait, which can make things take a little bit longer. Or uh, you can use the sand leech, sand geckos, or the rolling stones. Since the sand leeches are the cheapest, we're going to go ahead and grab 50 of them. And then we're going to head on out to the desert. So where we are heading out to the desert is going to be Forgotten Springs. If I can find it here. Southern Thanalan. Now, if I remember correctly, they may, hopefully they fixed this. Uh, when I did this quest back shortly after the game came out, though, they do have you go and talk to an NPC here in town. Actually, she's right here on the bridge. She's not going to say it's me because I've done the quest, but I remember she actually uh, guided me to a fishing hole south of Byergot's Strike which here is buyer got strike just to the southeast of town she actually said i needed to go south to a fishing hole here uh back then this was a typo hopefully they've corrected it but the the hole you need is actually east of the strike so if you're at the strike we are going to be heading over to here so for those of you Who are not familiar with Forgotten Springs, Fire Gut Strike is this big batch of towers and fun metally stuff here in the center of the desert. You're going to head over to the east. There's an Amalja encampment right here. You'll know you're in the right place when you see that. By the way, guys, you guys might hear some purring, some murrin, and maybe some bashing on my microphone. Uh, one of my kitties is going to be due for a snack here in about 30 minutes, and he's already anticipating it, and he's sitting here right next to me. Giving me hex, so if you hear him, that's what you hear. All right, so we've got this sand pit right here, this big rift. Depending on your level of fisher, you can either fish on this side. There are a malja that will bother you, so you want to be sure that you use stealth. However, on this side where the lizards are at, if you come, use that fire elemental as a guide. He's usually sitting right there. I like to sit right here because no enemies will really come within aggro range here so we're going to select the sand uh, the sandworms and we're going to start casting now for this i am going to go ahead and spare you guys uh the casting and fishing animations because here these fish are actually very low uh probabilities unless you have um one second Ah, sorry about that. I had to look up the weather again. Um, if you look in the upper right hand corner, you'll see there next to my map uh, that bright sun ray there. That is actually heat waves. When you have heat waves, you have a very high chance of catching the desert catfish. If you don't have heat waves, however, you're going to have a much lower chance, more like four or five percent. So I'm going to go ahead and start casting. We'll do 50 casts and see what we get. All right, guys, here we go. So, after 50 casts, we only ended up with five desert catfish total, including a HQ. Um, I did have one failed cast, simply because I wasn't paying attention, but the other 49 I did. And uh, I did lose my weather, my heat waves, for most of it. So, I'm pretty certain that most of these were as a result from heat waves. So, when you're going to be coming up to fish these up, you may want to go ahead and check your weather. Uh, although you probably need EXP at the level you're at. Speaking of, this is a level 35 fishing hole, so I'd recommend gear within that level range. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you can also turn on the vibration on your controller 
and pretty much just cast and let the vibration guide you and whenever you catch one of the desert catfish take it on back and you will be finished oh that's my buddy stubby there i gotta go feed him now guys hey i love you all fishermen hope you guys have a great time with the game um as far as like subs all that stuff is up to you what i do ask for around here though is if it's within your means please consider adopting or rescuing an animal aspca.org petfinder.com you can also google your local animal rescue and adoption options near you if you can't bring home an animal with you there's other ways you can help out those animals in need such as consider devoting or committing some of your time, volunteering time or money to a local pet rescue organization or shelter. Uh, there's also ways you can donate uh, items, food, other things like that. So if there's any way you can help out, there's plenty of ways to do it. And unfortunately, guys, there's plenty of animals out there who could use that love. So show them what you got. And speaking of love, I love you guys. And I hope you can hear that smashing and bashing over there because that's Stubby telling you he loves you too. And I will see you next time, guys. Remember, buy your fun, not your fam. Adopt, don't shop. We'll see you next time.